Uh, well, I'll start by asking, of course, R Romeo is one of the, the most sort of famous literary characters ever devised. Uh, was it a real challenge for you to, to come in and sort of mark your own unique stamp on this role? Yeah, of course. At first, you know, you're daunted by the challenge of, of having to do that. But I think you, you know, I quickly wanted to throw away the baggage of everything that comes with, you know, the banner of Romeo and Juliet or playing Romeo and uh, just start fresh and start with, um, start from somewhere simple by thinking, you know, these are just two young people, uh, no different if there were two young people today, two young people in this situation going through these things, going through, first, you know, the, the initial, you know, the realisation of what love feels like and, and the sort of how blinded you get by that. And uh, so for, for me, it was just about going back to, to basics and thinking about two young people being put into, into these situations. So is Romeo someone you can identify yourself with? Of course. I mean, you have to as an actually go inside yourself and try and remember what it was like to fall in love for the first time, that sort of crazy feeling where you literally, you're like, what on earth is happening to me right now? Right now I feel horrible, I feel amazing, I feel confused. This feels like, which way's up, which way's down, which way's... You know, you just, you're totally lost and blinded by this, this, this sort of thing. You know, chemicals are literally just, that you've never experienced before, starting to flow around your body. And so you have to, you have to try and remember what that's like to sort of be to get totally lost in, lo sorry, lost in and blinded by love, you know, to, to be able to sort of understand why these two go to the sort of extremes that they do without sort of thinking. I was wondering as well, because you have played uh, Boy George, and I was wondering, do you feel more pressure kind of taking on a role like Romeo or a role like Boy George? They both bring equal pressures, you know, in different ways. You know, boy, you know the Boy George thing is a huge pressure because you've got to totally change the way you are from your physical appearance to your everything, like every fibre of your being. This also, I mean, you know, I've been a young guy that's been in love before, maybe not to these extremes, um, you know, going as far as to kill myself. But um, yeah, I mean, there's probably more to try to draw, draw on within myself, although I truly believe that any character I do, whatever they are, however far away or close to me they are, you have to start by going to the, you know, the internal, Bit of the, I feel like everyone has a core inside them that makes makes us human and all the, these feelings and emotions we have. So you have to go and tap into that and create the character from the inside out. I read that uh, Damien Lewis has played Romeo before on stage. Oh, has he? I was, I was wondering if well, I was, I was about to ask you if you've ever spoken to him about it. No, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't know that. I mean, I think Shake, uh, Damien's done a lot of Shakespeare, um, and he's and he's just so ridiculously talented. So. Yeah, I would feel a lot of pressure talking to him about that. So, <laughs> I was wondering if you, if you kind of found a, a newfound uh, respect for, for Shakespeare having done this and bringing his words to the big screen and noticing just how contemporary they still remain. Yeah, I mean, all his themes are still so relevant today. I mean, this story, I mean, you can go anywhere in the world and find young people that are in love but can't be together because of, you know, s social conflicts or gang conflicts or, you know, arranged marriages around the world. You know, this, I think, and, and also on more of a, a, on a, on a smaller scale, you know, just teens being in love for the first time and feeling lost and feeling alone in these emotions and um, but yeah. I was wondering as well do you think it's really important for yourself as an actor to, to do Shakespeare? How, do you think it's one of those things that every actor needs to kind of go tick? I, I, need, I had to do that. I don't, I don't think any actor has to like tick you know tick any box per se but uh, I think especially as British actors are drawn to it because it's something that we've grown up with and it's sort of it's ingrained into our culture. Um, so yeah, and from what you said before, yes, this has totally opened my eyes even further. I mean, I enjoyed Shakespeare before, but not until I truly invested in this and fell in love with this did I actually really, you know, fall in love with this story and also his work in, in general. I mean, I went to see Othello the other day at the National Theatre and I, I've seen it before, but since doing this movie, I, I, it brought a whole new level of enjoyment to it. Of course, so you work alongside Haley in this film. I was just wondering, in order to kind of form that kind of chemistry, did you did you have to work uh, spend a lot of time with each other off set? Yeah, lucky like enough, that? we had a couple of weeks in Italy. We had to two or three, or maybe even three and a half um, weeks together in Italy before we started shooting, and that was invaluable. You know, really invaluable, to, invaluable to spend that time together. And um, you know, we got to do the horse training, the dance training, and I did the sword the sword training and. It was a really sociable crew and cast, and um, we spent a lot of time hanging out, and that was really important in sort of building that connection and that relationship. 
And there's, an, there's an array of incredible actors in this. I mean, yeah. Stellan Skarsgård, mm-hmm. Damien Lewis, of course, Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti, one of my I favourites. Mean, yeah. As someone who's still, still relatively, you know, the early stages of their career. Yeah, first, must be, not even early stages, <laughs> like first half a step into yeah. my career, yeah. It must be just wonderful to work alongside Yeah, people. I mean, I've, I've been blessed so far in my career to be to work with the people I have, you know, uh, sort of Damien, Paul, on this movie, Stellan, and then, you know, like actors that, I mean, I grew up watching Gladiator and that was one of the things that inspired me to act is working, you know, is, is watching Russell Crowe go on that amazing journey as Maximus in Gladiator and to work with him playing my father in the movie that I did after this one was so special. There are plenty of pinch yourself moments where you have to go, I'm doing what I have dreamt of doing all my life and doing what I love with the people I ex- you know, respect and admire. So if I could be half the, actors, half the actor that any of those are by the time I'm their age, I'd, I'd die happy. So my final question, because you're talking about pinching yourself, I mean, you've yeah. got a couple of really big roles coming up in obviously Noah and Jupiter Ascending mm-hmm. as well. Uh, it must be a pretty exciting time for you right now. Yeah, really exciting. I've got four films about to, well, coming out over the next year. So it's, uh, it's going to be a big year for me, sort of promoting, doing a lot of this, sitting yeah. in a chair. So hopefully I'm going to make sure I get time to keep on making things as well. But it's... Uh, yeah, it's a it's a big time for me when I just you know try and take it in my stride and um, just keep my head down and focus on the work. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much. Thank for you so today. much. much Pleasure. Cheers. Thank you.